Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's talk about how to add annotation to your video using Active Presenter 8, the latest version of Active Presenter. So it is very simple. It is I promise with you I promise you that uh, after watching this tutorial you can master the annotation in Active Presenter. In Active Presenter you can add a annotation like this. Click here and this rectangular and this circle and so many things more. So just emoji um, emoji like this and arrows 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 and that is um, not the only thing uh, with active Pre with active presenter you can also animate your annotation like this like this or pop up or wipe or add so so many things more so let me open the software and show you how to add annotation to your video using active presenter just one second it's okay Okay, so let's open Active Presenter 8 here. If you don't have Active Presenter on your computer, just go ahead to download at the links in the description. So we're going to create a blank project. And I want to delete this one. Okay. And take a new design. For example this one okay this look cool uh, so this is the preview canvas you can zoom it in a little bit so in, in order to add annotation in active presenter 8 you go go ahead to insert tab on the top menu for example here once you click the insert tab you have so many options here to insert in, into your video but what I normally use is a chef and text and that's what I'm going to show you today uh, and you can also add icons here there's many icons and emoji like I said in uh, my tutorial so firstly let's uh, add a shape we click on shape and there's basic shapes and call outs block arrows and stars so for example, I want to uh, add a click here button, uh, click here annotation to my video. I will go ahead to select this. Then I need to drag an area on the screen, for example, like this. And thus we create a shape. And we can move it around the, the screen. So to whether we, we want, to where we want. So there's three main parts of this the annotation. Firstly, on the preview uh, canvas so we can click resize and move it around you can also rotate like this like this okay and you can also change the this arrow position from this to this any point and if you want to to add text inside text inside it we can double click on it and type click here here okay and we can select the text and format it select and this is a format we can change the fonts like this and size I want to have bigger 16 a uh, 60 sorry I can change the color to yellow and also highlight the background uh, bold italic underline and something more here but I, I'm fine with this and that is to format the text then we can move it here and the second part of the annotation is a property so when we select select it we have property on the right we, we can fill in the background solid background or change it to an uh, image field for example image field we select an image on our computer uh, this one 
and we it's with uh, we feel here so so many other ways to use it okay and we, we want to undo it undo undo okay so we click here and we can also change the opacity of the background here to make it um, transparent more transparent and we we can add the solid line or no line here for example I will add solid line now we have more option for the line for example change the size to 5 and the color to red and also the cap cap type and join type dash pattern for example I want to change the pattern to dash like this okay and click and again we have also another option is shadow let's scroll down a little bit we have no shadow and custom shadow when we have custom shadow and then we have another option here to select and that is the first the first format option in the property and secondly we have the size and property we can change the size of the shape right here and rotation here for example 30 enter is rotate right and go back with zero enter and change the size left right top bottom and another option in uh, the annotation is interactivity so that is mainly used for e-learning but i will give you an example and when, once we click here we can add more event events and action to this annotation for example on click we click to add action then we have click here to show the presentation continue presentation post presentation and presentation and many other other interaction here or play the audio hide the object many things we we'll go to slide for example if we have another slide here we can choose go to slide and we select the num uh, slide number okay we are not going to do that here and audio so we have the uh, we can add audio to this annotation and this is uh, for example you can say click here this is the text to speech program inside active presenter we can generate and it will create an, another text here so we can listen to it click here that's a click here but i'm not uh, uh, I'm I'm currently not recording uh, my uh, my sound, so maybe you cannot hear it. And another part of the annotation is it on the timeline. So we, let's control Z. And on the timeline, this is the timeline. So uh, the timeline. So once you add the annotation, it appear on the preview canvas, and a, a shape appear on the timeline. So you can move this strap around the timeline. For example, like this. It will disappear here and appear in this position. And to show up, we select it. And we can also extend the annotation like this and like this. And we can also change the annotation uh, duration at the property pane, but we don't do that here. Okay. Another thing. So on the timeline, uh, if you want, for example, I have another video track here, and the annotation on top, and it will show up. So another thing is to to add animation to the annotation so we go to animation and firstly select the annotation and then go to an animations and we select uh, we can select entrance effect 
and exit effect for the annotation. Firstly, we go ahead to entrance effect and we can select here, for example, this is my favorite, grow and turn. Once the animation is added and you have it on uh, this green box on the timeline. So you can extend it or shorten it. And okay, and we are going to add exit effect similar. We have this one and this one also my favorite. Let's shorten it and extend the du uh, duration of the animation a little bit. Okay. Uh, and another thing about Active Presenter is adding motion path so it can be go here to here to here and to here. Okay, we go ahead to animation and we are not going to select this one and we go to this one. So there's a couple of things here like pulls, Twitter, Cheater or Spin. For example, we click on spin, so this yellow animation we add in the middle of the at the middle of the annotation. Uh, let's say play. And spin and end. Okay? But we we want to have more advanced option. So we click on the animation again and we add motion path. What do you say? Motion path. Motion path. <laughs> I'm sorry for the spelling. But we can add a custom custom path for this. So we start here and to here and then go here and then go here and go here and we right click to close the path okay let's see what's going on here boo, 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 boo. that's great right and we can also also adjust the, the animation duration to make it made it longer to make it longer like this and let's see what happens Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's great right okay so we go ahead to add uh, some some more annotation to this this time I uh, will go with the shape and arrows and we draw an arrow and uh, remove the size and now we add animation for that go to animation entrance and this time we select uh, fly in and then we choose the direction from left and exit also fly out and to the right and we add another animation in the middle uh, pulls okay and extend the annotation duration and let's see. Okay, let's see what happens. Pew, chew, 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 chew. And another go to from the left, pulls, go to the right. And now we can export it. Go to export and video. And let's say a name. And notation. It's okay. And just wait a, a little bit. Oh, okay, guys. So that's the end of today's tutorial. I hope it's clear enough for you to understand. Now, uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel for more video like this. If you want to learn about Active Presenter, firmware, and software. Be sure to check out other video on my channel. I will put it here.
Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Now, bye for now. <laughs> bye for now. <laughs> it doesn't work, sorry. Bye.